My name is Derek, and I met John in high school, 1982. And over the course of our 30-year on-and-off relationship, I've managed to capture some of those times. This is some never-before-heard audio of John, dated 1982. It's Patrick Alvarez on drums, Alan Bailey on bass, I was playing rhythm guitar, and of course John on lead. After high school, John and I continued to explore different projects. And in 1992, we formed the band Call to Arms. By late 1994, the band had broken up due to musical differences, and we all went our separate ways to form different projects. Even in high school, John knew he could play, and so did we. He often joked on my guitar playing, saying, you need to put that thing down, Rooney get back on the keyboards. It's not that he didn't need another guitar player, it's just we couldn't do what he did. Even in this audio dated 1983, you can hear John's clearly in charge. I had the chance to watch John become a guitar player like no other. From his Santana riffs in the 80s to his Steve Vai, John Petrucci style riffs today. I think what I've learned the most is you don't have to see or talk to somebody every day to have a connection. No, we didn't speak every day, but when we did, we always spoke of the past and how we shared separate but similar dreams. It's when you can call a person after time and speak of your passions in truth, value their opinions, ideas, and visions. I was fortunate enough to be there and capture bits of time in our close yet distant relationship. And as with most intense musicians and artists, it was hard to get John to listen to whatever I was writing at the time. And when he finally came to see one of my shows, he sat in the front row and watched. And this is where the magic of video and the art of recording came in handy. As I was reviewing the video of the show, at the end you can hear John say, way to go, DR. And if not through the magic of recorded sound, would have never heard John say that. I got John's approval after all these years, and that meant a lot. It's like I said before, John and I had a connection. If you look hard at anyone you've had the opportunity to spend time with, you'll see that we all have a connection be it a friend, an acquaintance. As human beings, we all desire the will to be loved, respected, and remembered. John, don't worry my friend, you did well. <laughs>